October and do a flip through of my spreads from October up to where we are now. Um, September and August were kind of hit or miss for me as far as um, there were a couple of weeks I didn't even plan in my main planner and then there were weeks when I planned but I just kind of you know I might have filled it out and then there might have been weeks where I just went with what was on my stickers and didn't fill anything else out. This was a use it up series from August and then of course we ended up um, I was really sick at the beginning of September. Um, I did do some planning, but as you can see, some of it I just didn't fill out. Like, I would start to fill it out, but didn't finish it. But I thought what I would do is go ahead and show you what I have done up to this point. Just a quick flip through before I start playing. So this was my October monthly and I did really well with this. I loved this kit. I thought it was really pretty. I filled it out, that sort of thing. It turned out just really, really pretty. This was from Creating & Co. And um, this was her um, metallic copper metallic um, pumpkin kit that she had and I did pretty good with it you know I checked off things and I um, went with everything that you know was on here and I filled it out so then we had this week um, I'm not sure if this was from Simply Water Co or where it was from it was a use it up from an old kit that I had and um, you can see that I did fill it out but I just was not really doing a whole lot during this stage. Now, I filled this one out uh, as far as my student, you know, I, I did the plan with me on this, but I never filled it out. I didn't go in and add anything other than what I had stickers for. I did pretty much the same thing every week with my um, little things as far as this is concerned because I have pretty much the same schedule, but I didn't get it filled out. I do want to go back and fill this out because I do have some notes on a side piece of paper here that I can fill it out. This was the week that I used a kit from, uh, this was either Miss and Mittens or, um, no, this is from M Crystal Prints. That's where this was from. So that's the reason I like to put the um, shop sticker. But I filled this one out. This is where I went to a charity dinner for my son's fraternity. I mean, it was just, you know, my dad's birthday. This was a busy week, but I was able to fill out most everything. I didn't keep up with my hydrate, but I kept up with other things. Um, you know, some days are blank and some are not. It just, you know, Know, kind of depends but anyway that was that day and then this is my November monthly I am actually using this it's going very well um, it's pretty blank because I mean there's really not that much going on but I did put in here you know my four weeks till Christmas and that sort of thing and this was the week of Halloween I filled it out but I just didn't have that much to fill out it was a very slow week for me I did go shopping on Halloween I was late getting home but for the most part I just relaxed we had our time change that sort of thing um, last week I did not plan anything at all and um, you know, last week was just a total wash for me. Um, I was at home. I slept a lot of the time. <laughs> so, I'm going to be planning now. It's Sunday, and I'm going to be planning for Monday the 13th through the 19th of November. I found some stickers in a stash of stuff. <clears throat> these are older stickers from Station Stickers, but I thought this was actually really, um, these brown and uh, teal muted colors were really pretty for um, this week in November, and I thought that I would go ahead and use these. I don't know if these are sold anymore or if she has a reformat or anything like that. I don't know. 
I just found this and thought I would use it. So I actually have two of these sheets because there's only uh, six of the full boxes here. This is going to be more of a white space plan with me. Um, I think it was meant to be a full white space because you get four different banners. But um, yeah, we're just gonna go with it and do the normal thing. Now, along with that, I had recently hauled this. Um, this was just the um, washi tape tube from Rack Collections, but it had this one in there that really actually matches really well. And I think it's pretty because it has go full, but it says so many reasons to be happy. And so I wanna get started by putting that at the bottom. That's just gonna be my bottom washi for this week. And um, yeah, I think it's gonna be really pretty. It's, um, it's just a really pretty, pretty tape. I wanted to try and maybe put it like this right here since it's gonna be a white space spread. I wanted to, I mean, you know, I want it to um, be kind of in the center there where it looks pretty. I'm just going to use my Starbucks card to cut it with, and hopefully it goes, yep, very nice. And I'm just going to go all the way across with this. Um, actually, do I want to? No, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to stop right here where I should stop. That way, because I really don't know what's going to happen on the um, sidebar with this. Since I'm using, you know, stickers that are old, I really don't, I really don't know. Okay, so let's go with um, this like this. And I'm just going to kind of put it down. I'm using that line there, that top line as a, you know, um, a guide. And, um, yeah, let's see here. There we go. It was a little bit rough pulling it apart there, but anyway, I think it's going to uh, be really pretty, and I think it'll, you know, these are matte stickers. Um, they're just like true matte. I don't think they're removable or anything. They're they're old, and so um, I'm just going to call this part of a Use It Up series because I did find these, and, I, you know, I have no idea how long I've had them, to be totally and completely honest. So let's go ahead and start working on our full boxes and our checklists, I'm gonna alternate. So let me find some checklists here that, here we go. I'm gonna alternate these and um, I may put these smaller ones on the weekend because I don't really need that much on the weekend. And I also have, you know, these headers. So yeah, let's just get started. Um, I'm just going to, um, I think I'm gonna alternate the top and middle row with these. Uh, I think that, um, you know, I really, I just like to see it alternated, and I enjoy the way that it looks when it's alternated. Um, now, this is, you know, the first white space plan with me um, that I've done in a while. Well, I take that back. I have done another white space spread with me. I think I did it for, um, let's see, it was Halloween was a white space um, plan with me, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it was. So, um, I've been doing a little more of that lately, but mostly it's just because I'm, you know, nearing the end of this particular planner and it is so full that, um, it's hard to, you know, um, <laughs> it's hard to get to it, especially on the side here. And, um, you know, it is planning like that is just hard. <laughs> So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the smaller ones here. Uh, let's see, I would go to this next color and then brown, but I'm gonna put these side by side on the weekend here so that I can put the weekend banner across the full boxes. And I think that that will work better for me for this week. So that's what I'm gonna do. So this is a little different from what I normally do, but I think it's gonna be just fine. Okay, so I have my alternating um, things. So let's go in and start putting some of these things down. I'm going to put this one because it's dark, I'm gonna put it in the middle. So I'm just gonna put it right here, just like this right here. Um, it's not my favorite print out of all of them, but since it's, you know, the darkest and most prominent, I'm going to go with it. So, uh, the rest of it, I'm just going to kind of alternate blue and brown, um, to, you know, brown tones. So, yeah, I think it'll be okay. I'm just going to kind of go from one to the other. Um, it will actually end up matching up a little bit with the 
color flag I have. These are removable. They're very easy to move around. I'm not having any trouble moving them at all. So that's a good thing. Okay, let's go with this one. I really like this pattern. So we're gonna put it right here. There's that. Okay, and then for here, let's go in with this one. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna move over and I'm gonna use this again because I really like this pattern. Uh, let's see here. I need to probably do, um, let's see, what do I wanna do? I've already used, I guess I could use this again and then um, the other one that I like so much, I can use it here. And that's where I'm gonna put the weekend banner. Um, and I think that's gonna work really well for me. And I have all of this section here is washi. Um, so yeah, there's that. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my um, today and to-dos. I'm gonna take those and I'm gonna put those in where they belong and I will be right back. All right, now I have everything down for those. I want to go ahead and go in with my banner. I really like this dark color banner. I think it's really pretty. I'm just gonna put it across the top here, try to get it as even as possible, just like that right there. Okay, there we go. So now that I've, let me see if I can get it kind of level on both sides. Okay, now that we have that done, I think what I wanna do next is go ahead and go in with um, some things that, you know, of course I need to do for the sidebar. And I do have some of these here and I have some checklists. So yeah, I wanna go ahead and go in and do those things. Um, okay, so the first thing that I need to do is I need to decide what am I gonna put over here for my, um, my box and I think I'm just gonna go with this. I have no decorative elements at all. So um, I'm just gonna go with um, what I have here and let it be its own thing. I mean, you know, just like kind of let it do its own, speak for itself is what I'm trying to say. So I have that. The next thing that I need to do, of course, is I need to put a checklist for cleaning so of course there's that so i'm going to oops it went sideways on me but these are so easy to make i always liked station stickers never had a problem with any other stickers in the past when i have um you know used them so um yeah i actually really like the stickers from there i, I think that they're you know good stickers and um even these, as old as they are, they're still, they're performing very nicely, which is good. Okay, so this is my cleaning schedule for the week. And then um, I think for um, the rest of it, I want to use, well, let's see here. I have so much going on this week, but I think what I'll do is maybe do errands, which could count as a to-do. We'll just do it like that. Um, hopefully getting it straight. I got a little too far off to the side there, I think. I need to try and get it level with, or I should say, you know, this way as far as, there we go. All right. Now then, let me grab a brown checklist. I'm going to put it here. So this will be almost like the things I need to do this week. Um, just a small to-do list. The places I need to go. I've got quite a few things going on this week that I need to get everything done. And it'll be nice to have a list to refer to. All right. And then I think the last thing that I'm going to do is just a short um, list. And I'm going to just do a reminder. And this will be like maybe for next week. Um, that sort of thing. And so, yeah, I'm just going to go with that. Just like that. And then do a small or short one. Let's see. Let's just use one off of this sheet. I'm just going to do a three heart checklist 
to get me through to the end of the week. Now that I have gotten my sidebar pretty much done. I mean, it's very, very functional this week. Let me just, I'll just say that. Very, very functional. Um, I am going to go in. I do not have any small flags that I can use. So, what I'm going to do, I have... I have these, and I think I'm just going to use these. I really like the um, pattern, and what I'll do is I'll just cover it up, and then I'll cut off the excess. So let me, uh, yeah, let's just go through right here, just like that right there. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side with one of them, and let's just go with this one. It's kind of a neat pattern. And I can cover it up because I'm not going to need this many um, things. So, there's that. Okay. Here we go. All right. Now then. Okay. Um, I do have these three checklist um, boxes. And I'm going to put those in the places that I normally do things. Um, so, I think what I want to do is go ahead. I'm going to put one in for... Um, let's see. I don't really have any like little things. So I think I'm just going to, I have six of these and, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to kind of put these in as my little things. So, um, yeah, I'll have something for every day and no, I'm not trying to match what's going on at the top. I'm just getting them done. That's all. Okay. All right, and then for Sunday, I'm not going to worry about this kind of situation um, at all. I'm just going to kind of not worry about that. That's sort of like the day I take off, and um, yeah, there's that. Okay, and I have some flags and other things that I'll do that are, um, you know, for this area and that sort of thing, but I don't need anything for this um, here. So now it's time to go in and put in some of these boxes. And this is where I do all of the things that are YouTube related. So I'm just going to kind of put these in on top and go from there. And then I'll just uh, put in a solid blue for this day. And I'll just push it down a little bit. It'll be okay. By the time I go in with all my other stickers that I use for my weekly planning, you know, that sort of thing, everything will be fine. Okay, so I have several things that I need to put in as far as um, that need labels. I have doctor appointments um, and that sort of thing. So I have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday of this week. So I'm going to go in with, um, let me just go in with this uh, solid color here, just like this. And then let me go in with, um, let's see, Thursday, I have another doctor's appointment. So let me go in with, uh, let's just go in with this pale green. And we'll go there. There. Oh, goodness, let's see. Okay. All right, then, um... I do have these. I wanted to put um, one of these uh, payday stickers on this day um, because I need to remember it. I'm going to go with the brown on this one. And I do have these workout stickers and that sort of thing, but I don't need those. But I just want to remind myself that it is payday. So I'm going to put that one there just like that. And then um, I don't think I'm going to really need a whole lot more. Um, I have these that says loose ends. I would like to put them here um, and hide as much of this as possible. So I think what I will do is um, let's just alternate the ones that I can and the ones that, you know, uh, I don't have room for or I don't have enough of, I'll cover with uh, washi. So let me just find a piece of washi that will work here, uh, just something small. It doesn't need to be anything you know, like big or thick or anything like that. So I can put that there and then I can do a loose ends in the blue here. I'll just use a bunch of my stickers that I have um, 
that I plan with every week anyway. So, all right, let's go in with a piece of washi that I can use for here. Let's use this, this color, this pretty wheat color. All right, and then I think I used blue. Yep, let's use brown here. And then we'll use the blue here. It's a little far over. I need to stop that. Well, Izzy is thinking she's going to bark. And I think that I'll just grab a um, piece of washi for this one here. And let's see. Let's just go with um, this color. It's about the same size of a header. So we'll just do it there. So let me show you what it looks like so far. Okay, so this is what I've got going on so far. Um, I'm not going to fill in with any more washi or anything like that. And I don't need anything else from this sheet. Um, I don't think I'm going to need anything else from this sheet unless I add some doctor's appointments in. And I don't need anything else from this sheet. So I'm just going to kind of uh, put all those to the side. That leaves me with this sheet and the circular icons. So I'm just going to kind of go in and add some circular icons here where, you know, I know that I'll need some or whatever. So let's just kind of go day by day and see how it goes. All right, so the first thing that I am going to do, I do have plenty of these little um, icons for, you know, marking my food. So I think what I will do is maybe I'll just put that on the bottom of each day under the to-do section. So let's just do it like that. Let's just kind of alternate and I can fill in whatever I'm eating on that day. Um, I can fill it in. It's that way it won't be, you know, any big deal. And, um, you know, that way I'm still tracking my food, I guess you would say. Okay, so let's go in with, there's not going to be enough for the whole week. But if there's enough for the majority of the week, the weekend is not going to worry me any at all. So, there it is. There's enough for the, the week and that's really all I need. Okay, I need to go to the grocery store on Monday and Sunday. So, I'm just going to grab one of these and put that, um, let's see, let's put this on Tuesday and Sunday because um, what happens is uh, my son comes home for Thanksgiving break from college. So there's that. Okay, then also on Tuesday, I have um, Happy Mail that I need to um, take care of. So I'm just going to put it down as the second thing in line. All right, I have to make calls on Mondays. You guys know that I do that and I have my coffee Monday, but I don't see a coffee, so that's fine. All right, let me go ahead and right here. Okay, and then um, I'm gonna go with washing clothes on Sunday also, and I probably will end up doing some midweek, so I'm just going to kind of put that down right there, just in case, because I'm pretty sure that I will, and then also on this day, I'm going to put in that it is trash day, so I have a bunch of icons that I'm using off of this sheet, which is really good. It means that I'm getting them used. Okay, so um, I'm going to put this paper clip I'm going to put it up top here, and the reason I'm doing that is because I need to remember that not only is it payday, but I've got to go and pay some bills, and so that has to be done, and I think that may be it. I think that that's all that I'm going to really be able to do. I think I'm going to stop there with what I'm doing, and um, I'm going to go in now with um, the stickers that I use every week that you're used to seeing and I'll be right back. Hey guys, I was able to get everything taken care of. I got all of my stickers in that I would normally put in. Um, I think it turned out to be a really cute November spread. Um, I love the Use It Up series. I, I just really like grabbing these old stickers and that sort of thing and using them. Um, I will just go ahead and kind of show you. Of course, you know that all my words are usually from um, the Plangineer. Um, I went ahead and added a few new ones. All of these, the 
Clean the Beauty Blender, Clean Brushes, and the Little Face Mask Lady are all from Pop Fist Paper. And then this is from Lexi Kylie Designs, the little stethoscope. I like it a lot. And then on this side, this is um, from a shop called May Cause Memories. I actually have an enamel pen of this right here because that's just my life, guys. <laughs> this is also from the Plangineer. Of course, we have um, my little Izzy here, which is from... Uh, Let's see, my newest addiction, Sticker Sis is the half week spread, and of course, Lexi Kylie designs again. Then I have the Frye from Sassy Apple Studio. This is um, a birthday to remind me of my nephew's birthday. This is um, Bippity and Boo from Glam Planner. And then Game Day and the Football are both from um, Sassy Apple Studio. Sticker Sis is the quick toddy. Um, this planner with the cappuccino, heart cappuccino is really cute. It is from my newest diction. Lazy Day is from After Church will be Lazy Day and that is from my Sassy Apple Studio also. So yeah, that's it. Guys, always remember that I do have a couple of coupon codes or, you know, codes to save money at a couple of shots in the information bar down below. I have um, joined the PR team with Sassy Apple Studio and I have a code down below for her shop. And also, I am a new PR team member for Jelly Beans. So if you are interested in um, any kind of cute, fun planner accessories and that sort of thing, she has some really great ones. She's got some really cute Buffalo Check plaid clips in her shop right now, which I'm sure that some of you would absolutely love. But yeah, um, don't forget those codes down below and go check out their shops. I would really appreciate that. Um, I don't make any money off of that. I just want to share their shop with you because I believe that they put out incredible product. And um, yeah, I'm proud of them. They're my friends. So that's going to be it for my plan with me, my use it up series, that sort of thing. I think that it turned out just fine. It is more than functional. I'll be able to write in, you know, what I do each day, whether it's film, edit, upload, or all three. And um, yeah, as the week goes on, hopefully I'll be able to, you know, kind of write down my errands and things like that get to my doctor's appointments and hopefully I won't forget anything. <laughs> I hope that you guys have a wonderful upcoming week. I hope that you are having great weather where you are and that you're enjoying the fall and it's going to be Christmas before we know it and I cannot wait until we get started with December dailies. I'm really excited about that. So yeah, that's going to be it guys. You have a great one. I love you and thank you for your support. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.